Alright, hey you guys, it is Subaki Swag and I'm coming to you with my review of Naruto episode 352. If I remember correctly, if I'm wrong, of course it'll be in the video somewhere. But this episode, first thing I want to say is that their smoke ability I cannot remember the name of the tribe. There's been so much going on lately. The name of the tribe will, I'll probably put it somewhere in the video, but their smoke ability could either be really awesome or really stupid, considering that like they can make their actual like physical being turn into smoke, but if they get if they go outside and get blown away, they die pretty much, which I think is really stupid. That ability should have been better thought out, in my personal opinion. But anyways, so this episode, anybody, does anybody else just want to say F Donzo? For real, for real. Because Donzo, he just makes everything worse. But I want to say that even though some people might not want to admit it, Saratobi is kind of a softie. Like, he was a really good Hokage or whatever. But he is kind of soft because he had the opportunity to kill Orochimaru and he didn't. And because of that, there is so many, like, Orochimaru has triggered so many bad things in the village. Like, it's not even funny. So, Saratobi did, in a way, kind of, like, F the village over because he didn't take out Orochimaru when he had the opportunity. But if he hadn't, then a lot, like a lot of stuff wouldn't happen and the story pretty much would have ended. Or there would have been a different villain. And Orochimaru is a pretty good villain because I never realized how freaking sinister Orochimaru is until the part when him and Kakashi were fighting. And he like, he well he pretty much ignored Kakashi as he walked by him, but... Just the look in his eyes were freaking creepy. Like, Orochimaru is a creep, for real, for real. But, I mean, that's just part of his personality, I suppose. It's in his nature. But, Orochimaru. I'm, I'm just tired of Orochimaru. I'm tired of Donzo. I'm tired of... I like filler. I like this filler arc because it is pretty awesome. I like knowing, I like that we learned a lot more about Kakashi and Yamato. So, um, but then also in this part, I believe that Yamato is Tenzo or, well, Kino is Tenzo, which of course we all know that it's Yamato because he did the creepy face. But I believe that he is Tenzo, which is, um, Yukimi, Yukimi? Um, brother. But I'm still not sure who I believe was in that other like um test tube that was near Yamato that he like they showed him looking at when he was a baby. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I would love to hear who y'all think that is because I have I kind of think that that might be um. Yukimi, I feel like I'm pronouncing her name wrong, but y'all know who I'm talking about. But I feel like it's her, but then again, it might be somebody else that we've already seen in this series. So, other than that, I believe that 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 he is her her brother that she has been looking for for like three years, and I believe that um I believe that we are going to learn some more about Yamato's past because we also they never really explained like how Yamato became good and how he got away from like Orochimaru and Donzo and everybody so I think we're going to learn more about that too but I don't know I'm looking forward to well it's the full day after tomorrow now because I know that I'm really late with this review but I've had a lot of stuff going on it's not my fault <laughs> But at least I'm going to catch up. I'm going to review everything that was supposed to have been reviewed this past weekend. So, this episode, it was pretty awesome. And I want to see Kakashi's face. They never show his face. I'm tired of not seeing it. It's making me angry. But, 
I uh, have a feeling we're gonna have some closure about the things that Kakashi went through and we're gonna find out about um Yamato's past a little bit more because this was most more supposed to be about Kakashi and then it kind of veered off to Yamato so I'm looking forward to both and I think that's pretty much it besides that their smoke ability is pretty it's awesome and stupid at the same time like if they it just that just irritated me that I was just like there's really no point and also if they were if they know that they're gonna get blown away if there is any type of slight wind why would you turn into smoke that makes absolutely no sense to me you should just don't turn into smoke it's not that hard or it shouldn't be that hard so I don't know I was just ugh, I'm done I'm done anyways so um as always please 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 remember to comment rate and subscribe and this is Suvaki Swag saying adios <laughs>